everybody. This week I saw a question pop up in the big commerce community. It's a forum where people ask questions. And that question was, how do I add a video to my website? So I thought, hey, that's the perfect thing to do a video on. So today I wanna show you how to add a video from YouTube onto your big commerce blog. So let's head on over to the computer. Okay, so now we have our, we have the YouTube channel open over here. We have our big commerce site in another area. And of course we've got our website here. So we're gonna start over on YouTube and we're gonna navigate to the video that we want to be able to move on to our website. So here we have, this is the video that I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. And what we wanna do is we wanna copy this title right here, if it'll let us and um, just control C. And then back over here on Big Commerce, we're gonna go to Storefront, Blog, and then we're gonna add a new blog entry. So for the title, I'm gonna paste that in there. There we go. And now for the content. Now you don't have to be a coder to be able to do this, and so this is, this is not that hard, but we do need to do the HTML. So over here is, is this will change us from this is called a WYSIWYG editor, which is what you see is what you get versus the HTML. So we're gonna click on that and you can see the screen turns black. And then back over here on our, on our video, I'm gonna click on the share button. There we go. And I'm going to click on embed. So, whoa, not sure what I did there. That is not what I wanted. Okay. I'm gonna go back to our video here. Oh, well, you know, I guess it's, these are just the things that happen. We wanna click on share. Not sure why it went crazy for a moment there, but embed. Embed, there we go. This is what we want. And this code right here, we're gonna go ahead and click on copy and it'll copy it all. It's copied it to our clipboard. Now back over on Big Commerce, we're going to go right here and we're gonna paste that in. You could probably right click, paste, yeah, you could. Um, I just prefer to do Control C and Control V for copy and paste since I use them all the time. Now I'm gonna turn off the HTML editor and look at that, here our video is right there. Now I also wanna go ahead and add some text in here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna navigate to our, the, 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 when I do YouTube videos, I always create a Word document that has all of the text that I wanna include. So in my YouTube, here we go, we're going to, oh, wrong deal. Desktop, and Top 5 Tuesday, and we're gonna find the one that's dated for this week here. There we go. So we're gonna open up this Word document, and there we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna control A to, con to select all, control C, and now we've got all of that text is pasted to the clipboard. Now I'm gonna go in here, and we've, we're already down here a, a space, and now I can just control V to enter all of that. So here we have all of the links that that video included. Now the one thing it does, now what's gonna happen is these links will all go, these are all internal links anyway, um, for the most part, that are going to uh, link to the products in the store. Now for some reason, and maybe if we click on enter, haha, <laughs> there we go, that worked out great. So now we've, those have turned into links as well, so that's perfect, exactly what we want. And obviously people know our website, they may not know our YouTube channel, so in this spot, we probably want to put our YouTube channel. And I'm going to copy and paste that probably from my, I always do the same thing. I just create a new email and I copy it from my signature. Uh, there we go. So there's our YouTube channel right there. Yes, my, I think half my life is copying and pasting. Now we're gonna paste that in there. I don't know why it took us to the top, but now we have that description and everything, so that way Google can see that. And now we're going to look through here. So the author, we're gonna make that us. Um, tags, you can have a, I don't use thumbnail images on my blog. And then here, let's go ahead and change this text here. And 
There we go. I'm going to copy this general description at the top, and for my meta description, I'm going to put it right there. So there we go. And I'm going to click on publish. Now, the one thing is that it is March 30th right now, and that was March 27th. So now that I've published this, now I want to edit it. So I'm going to click on edit, and when I scroll down here, now we're going to have a date field, and I can change that. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to Tuesday, and click on update. Now let's take a look at how this looks on our website. In fact, it, that came um, before, which means I need to change this one too to probably when it was actually published, which was last Wednesday. There we go. So I'm gonna update that. So now the way my blog is set up or way any of the blogs are set up, the newest po posts are gonna be at the top. So now let's take a look at, this is what it looked like before because I haven't refreshed, but now when I refresh, here we go. There is, there's our video is now posted on our blog. And when I click on this, there we go. Now our video will play right in the player. And because of the way my site is set up, this is what links look like. And so now it's all translated. And of course we could go through and check all these links. Um, I've already done that uh, previously, but now it'll play right in the player. I'm gonna mute it right here. But it'll play right on our website without having to take someone over to YouTube. So that is our little tip for today, is how to embed videos into your big commerce blog. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on my channel, I invite you to subscribe so you can see more content as I deliver it. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.